Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to talk about some of my favorite current luxury foundations. Um, I am a luxury makeup um, obsessor hoarder, so I definitely pick up more makeup than the average person. And also because of the sake of this channel, I do try a lot more makeup than the average human. So sometimes I end up with a pretty big collection. So I like to do these top favorites types of videos every now and then because it kind of forces me to look at what are my favorite products in that one category. But before we go any further in the video, please let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So the first item I want to talk about is the newest one in my collection. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now, if you have heard of this item, it's kind of like one of those cult beauty classics. It's talked about on so many blogs, so many YouTube videos, so many professional makeup artists use this for the red carpet for movies and i have to tell you that all the hype is real it's worth it i was lucky to get several samples a few years back and i fell in love with the foundation but it has a pretty steep price if i'm not mistaken i think it's around 80 dollars canadian plus tax like it's like crazy expensive but it is so beautiful and before i go any further i should also mention that i have dehydrated skin so my skin lacks water not oil so i naturally will gravitate towards foundations that are more luminous more dewy i don't really love a matte finish foundation so those are the foundations that i go towards anyway uh luminous silk i am in the shade called 5.5 now this is a pretty fluid foundation. It does tend more towards the light to medium range. And you can do a full face of makeup with one pump, but one pump is quite light. It is beautiful because it does just have like the slightest hint of luminosity and it's so light and natural. And this does not pick up on any dry skin. It doesn't pick up on, you know, um, like smile lines at the end of the day, it doesn't crease anywhere. It's really a wonderful, fantastic product. And you can build up with this. You can do two or three pumps. You can go quite full coverage with this, but it never feels heavy. It never feels cakey. It's just a really beautiful foundation. The hype is 100% worth it. I picked this up during the last Sephora sale with a 20% off. I'm glad I did, and I'm so glad that I have this in my collection now. Okay, so the next foundation is the one that I'm wearing today. This is the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick. This is number three, so it's the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick, and this is just shade number three. And one thing that I love about this is the beautiful packaging. I love this light baby pink. It's very like millennial pink. And I love that there's this magnetized component here. So it just clicks closed. It just, these sort of like small details is what makes luxury makeup so worth it. The fact that it's very weighted and you have that little clicking sound, it's fantastic. And it shows that there was a lot of thought in development and product packaging and all that. It wasn't just like slapped together. It's really beautiful. And even the name Westman Atelier is engraved on the product here. So it's really just that attention to detail that I love in the packaging and the product itself is really fantastic. Now, what I like about this one here is that it's really creamy and easy to blend. It's not very waxy. Some foundation sticks, I don't know why, they're just so waxy. They're almost like hard to blend. This is very creamy and smooth. This can easily double as a concealer, depending on what color you pick up for yourself. You could easily use this as a concealer. I use it as a foundation and I find that it gives me like that baby soft, baby smooth skin. And you can do a very light makeup look with this. The whole like um, idea for Westman Atelier makeup is that like no makeup makeup look or your skin but better. And this definitely gives you that no like your skin but better. And I find that is often hard to find with foundation sticks. In my experience, I have found really heavy cakey ones. This is not you can build it up like I did put on like a couple of layers today just to get like the coverage that I wanted but it doesn't look cakey it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't crease it doesn't pick up on any dry bits of skin it's just a really beautiful foundation and I really love this for travel because it is a foundation stick and it does have this um, magnet here 
on the top so if you're traveling you don't have to worry about it leaking or running everywhere i mean i love a fluid foundation but if that breaks in your makeup bag you are just like done over with whereas this is very sleek and compact and again if you want to use this for touch-ups throughout the day for a concealer to spot correct it's very easy and compact you could just take a little bit of product and dab and go so it's a wonderful one okay so next up is another foundation stick this is from Guerlain this is the terracotta skin and I have the shade called light so this is one of their newer foundations that came out this summer with their whole terracotta summer collection you know Guerlain terracotta bronzer we've all been you know familiar with this so right off the bat I think this is the foundation that is the most scented it has that distinct Guerlain scent. I think it's the meteorite scent. It's, it smells like violets or flowers. So if you are sensitive to scents, this is probably not the one for you because it, it does have that very heavy floral, floral scent. That being said, it doesn't bother me, but you should just know. So this, just like the Westman Atelier, is very easy to blend. I would argue that maybe this one is even easier it really takes zero pressure from a sponge my favorite way to apply a foundation is with a makeup sponge so when you apply this i feel like you barely have to touch your skin and it just disperses into the skin it's very very light and natural i think this might be lighter than the westman atelier foundation stick it's very much your skin but better you can build it up but i think just as like a baseline, the terracotta one is much lighter and the Westman Atelier is more like medium. It's very light, but this one is almost more sheer in a way. That being said, you can build this up more. And I find that this one has maybe more of a dewy finish than the Westman Atelier. The Westman Atelier is just like the finish that you see today, but I think this one is maybe just like a little bit more wet or luminous. They're both beautiful. It really just depends on my mood. If I want something really more sheer and light, I think I've used this a lot more in the summer because it is so light and it has terracotta on it. So it makes me think of summer, but I really love both foundation sticks. It just really depends on what my mood is. Okay, so next up is the most full coverage foundation that I own. Again, I'm not really like a huge full coverage foundation lover. So if you love a really heavy duty foundation, this probably isn't for you. But if you like more light to medium and you want just like one foundation that's going to be your like heavy coverage, this is it. This is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I'm in the shade called 2WO. I think this is technically a medium to full coverage foundation, but for me and my needs, it's my full coverage foundation. And this is pretty heavy duty and it's also very long wearing. I've worn it this summer to a few events. So picture like a full face of makeup in the hot sun and this foundation does not move. It offers quite a bit of coverage. You can sheer it out a little bit, but you can also really build it up. and it stays in place like it doesn't move it doesn't crease it doesn't run it doesn't fade the foundation you have in the morning is the same you have at night and it's pretty it can be pretty heavy duty again this is like my version of heavy duty and this is the skin glow so it's a bit more luminous and if i'm not mistaken there's a matte version as well if you have more oily skin this is not the foundation that i reach for every day it's not like my go-to but if i know that i have a long day or if i have a big event if i need my makeup to just like stay in place and look flawless this is the one that i reach for okay so next up is the chanel ultra le teint foundation this is in number b30 now my favorite chanel foundation was the perfection lumiere which was discontinued of course i think for me this is the closest dupe that chanel has come out with this is a light to medium foundation and it does have a little bit of luminosity i think it's a semi matte radiant finish i don't know how that works but it does somehow i'm not sure how they pull that one off it's not the most radiant it's not the most matte either and it's also very long wearing again this one doesn't fade away or run or smudge or anything like that and this is the foundation that i go to the most like if i can't if i don't want to think about it this is the one if i don't have to think of any factors i don't have to think about special events or what makeup i'm wearing this is the one that i reach for the most because it is so practical you can sheer it out you can build it up it's so comfortable it's so beautiful it doesn't sit anywhere it doesn't cake or crease any of that it's just a really beautiful foundation and 
This is my go-to foundation. Okay, so I said that there were gonna be five favorite foundations, but I'm actually gonna sneak in a sixth one because I'm not sure if it technically counts as a foundation, but this is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, and I'm in the shade called Medium. This came out this summer, and I guess it's a foundation. It's more of a complexion product. Sometimes I use it as a primer. Sometimes I just use it as a foundation. If I use it as a foundation, I'll go in with like two pumps. And this is really just magic. It's like magic water. It really just helps to blur out the face, smooth out imperfections. It's really your skin, but better. I wish my skin looked naturally the way it does when I have this on. It's just beautiful. It's really light. When it's been really, really hot and I didn't really want to think about too much makeup, I would just wear this because you know when it's really hot and you have a full face of foundation on and then you put on your glasses and then you have like the imprints here with this you don't even see it because it's so light and i don't know how it does it but it really just like blurs out all of your skin imperfections it just smooths everything out it makes you look glowy and luminous i think this is arguably the most hydrating foundation out of all the bunch because it's basically just water with like little capsules of tint in there it's Fantastic, marvelous, wonderful. If you haven't given it a try, I highly recommend that you do. This one is running low, unfortunately, so I will definitely be stocking up very soon. All right, I think this about does it for today's video. So let us know down in the comments which foundation in the video was your favorite or what are some of your favorite luxury foundations. I would love to know. There are so many new releases, so it's hard to keep up with all of them sometimes, but if you have any favorite new luxury foundation releases, let us know down in the comments. I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.